So, how's it going, everyone? Welcome to Hidia Press Radio. I'm Afar here. Today, we've been fortunate to be joined by Natasha Fontes. Um, she's a self coach, she's a social media influencer, and a businesswoman. And she's here to share a bit about herself, what she does, um, a bit about her journey as well. And so without further ado, thank you, Natasha, for joining us. Uh, I hand it over to you. Um, why don't you start by telling us about yourself, um, kind of what has led you down the journey of life to this point where you are now? Well, thank you for having me. I'm super, super, super excited. So, hey, guys, I'm Natasha. I'm based in Sydney. I'm a general manager for a small business and I also help women foster a positive relationship with themselves so they can start living the life that they know that they're capable of. Wow. All right. Um, and so obviously um, this has kind of been a build up to doing what you do and um, being a self coach, um, self discovery is a large component of doing that. And so what has led you um, to begin the journey or at least, continue on the journey of learning about more about yourself so I had so I was engaged last year and I was meant to get married in September four months before the wedding I made the really tough decision to end it and that was incredibly difficult for me at the time and also leading up to it it took me about nine months to to really have the strength to be able to make that decision throughout post decision i tried to avoid all of my feelings and i thought you know what this is this is what i wanted everything's going to be fine i was throwing myself into work really you know i was crying all the time i was getting really anxious and this is not something that i was it's not something that was happening to me before. I ended up having a breakdown where I was inconsolably crying for three hours and I, I couldn't stop. I didn't know what was wrong with me. And I like to call that that moment my spiritual awakening. Wow. So that started the whole journey of getting to know myself again and, you know, seeing a therapist, working out what was what was going on and how I can improve and what happened was I, I started therapy and I thought I was here before and through everything that was happening, I was down here. So through therapy, I was going to get back to who I was. Mm -hmm. But as, as the sessions continued, I was like, hold on. No, I am here. I need to get to who I was, but I need to surpass that because the person that I was, was actually making the decisions that got me into those situations in the first place. Wow. Um, and uh, thank you for sharing that. That's extremely difficult. Um, and uh, yeah, my respect for having the strength to obviously uh, make the tough decision, uh, really life altering decisions uh, that you've had to make. So thank you for sharing that. Thank you for uh, being vulnerable in that, in that way. Um, and what was the process like of learning to essentially really figure yourself out um, again you made this decision and again it shifts your whole paradigm your whole compass basically changed so the little steps that um, I know people tend to take while they're trying to figure out the bigger pictures maybe what are some of the small things for some people in similar situations um, it may not necessarily be exactly the same as yours but for people who have to maybe shift their lives in a certain way what are some of the small practical steps which won't overwhelm someone in terms of their emotional stability and well-being. What are some of the small things that you were doing in that moment to kind of keep yourself going forward? So I think the most important thing when we're in situations where we can we can see that how we've been operating in the past is no longer serving us, whether that's we're in a job that we don't like, we're in a relationship that we're not happy with, we have to really sit there and look internally we need to get to know who we are as a person what are our morals what are our boundaries do we have a purpose and once we work out who we are and it's almost like you have to date yourself again mm -hmm. we, we change at so many stages in life and and taking a step 
back and, and allowing yourself to get to know yourself. Start making decisions and operating in line with that person. A few steps that you can incorporate in, you know, your routines. Journaling is, is super important. Allowing yourself to sit with your thoughts and, and writing things down. Um, visualization, you know, what does your what do you want your life to look like if you're not happy with how it is now? Yeah. Having that vision so we can we can work towards that vision. Oh. So they're probably the two things that I would start with. But journaling, honestly, it, it's amazing. And it's super simple. You can, you know, even grab a piece of paper if you don't have a book and just start writing your thoughts down. Uh, thank you for sharing that. Um, and so obviously, personal empowerment is a big thing. And I can also recall, um, I guess, to be able to share in a relation, I, I remember, um, you know, um, also I was in a long term relationship for some time, and uh, that ended. Uh, and obviously, you go through um, a lot of realizations of how dependence on people and attachment to people can really be the center of what you do and a lot of people I feel struggle with really having to find the confidence to be able to do things by themselves because their identity was tied to someone else and everything their capabilities their skills whatever it was all attached to that person and once it's gone you really don't even know how to do things for yourself anyway like oh man can I can I even do something for myself so um what does personal empowerment mean to you and how do people who are in situations of attachment and reliance or dependence which is maybe not even healthy to begin with what type of how do they empower themselves to be able to do things you know and again you know when you have a partner there's things that they can do that you simply can't do yourself that's the reality of why we meet people in our lives and why we're connected to one another because we can't do everything on our own but when we separate that void that that person filled and what they were able to do that you can't do. There's kind of a difficulty there. So the first one is what does like personal empowerment mean to you and how do people kind of develop the skill set to manage what they've lost if they've, you know, moved on from a job and a relationship or whatever the circumstance may be. So I think the key is we all have power. We have a power within us. And we just need to learn how to step into that power and everything around us will start changing. But that all stems from having an amazing relationship with yourself first. If you are able to build that, if, you know, build your self-confidence, build your, your self-esteem and not have that void that you mentioned because you're able to fill all of the voids and you are able to, to be enough for yourself you're not going to be then searching for other people to be filling that void for you. You know, it's that's external validation. We need to kind of step away from that external validation and start looking for internal validation. Uh, and it's, look, it's, it's very no. hard in the day and age as well where we're constantly receiving external validation through social media and and things like that so it, it is very tricky you know in two seconds I can post a photo and have people commenting and I feel good about myself but that's not sustainable and that's it's not actually doing doing me any good and what would you say is the biggest thing you've come to learn about yourself being on your own essentially um, choosing yourself what is something that you said, wow, this this is surprising. I did not know that I had this in me, kind of climbing the mountain and reaching the summit. You know, obviously there's another valley right below and you're going to go through that. But then the first summit that you reached and, you know, kind of in this journey, what was, uh, oh, excuse my language, but like, wow, uh, you know, like what, you know, <laughs> excuse the language, but you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, what was that, 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 one thing about yourself that you're like, wow, you know, that that's pretty cool. Yeah. So before this happened, I had, or before I made my decision to end the engagement, I had this idea of myself. I thought I was extremely confident. I thought I had my, my shit together mm -hmm. and I would try things and I would, I would always have a block somewhere. 
Mm-hmm. So let's just say I started a business after three months, I'd get over it and I, I wouldn't want to continue. I didn't have my license. Mm-hmm. I started writing a book and, and never finished. Mm-hmm. And I would make these excuses as to why I could I could never do it or, you know, there was always some sort of excuse. So I was okay with my decision of, of not completing things. Mm-hmm. Since kind of sitting with myself, getting to know myself, working on myself, I realized that I can do anything that I I put my mind to. I got my license at 27 years old. I finished the book that I I started writing at 21. I went skydiving because it was on my bucket list. And I've just realized that we are all enough. Everybody is enough. We all have that power. We all have that inner king or queen. And we just have to know how to unlock that to start living the life that we all really know that we're capable of living. Oh, um, and that's that's really cool. Um, uh, thank you for sharing that. Um, and uh, thank you for encouraging. I mean, for those of you that do tune in, obviously everyone's at different stages in their lives. Some maybe at the bottom end of it, um, but just to know that people have made it through um, is really sometimes all that you need to start your journey, you know, no matter what it looks like. So thank you for sharing that part. And obviously you started your own business um, and I just wanted to ask, what was the process like? Uh, What motivated you to start and fully commit, obviously, this time? And also um, what type of business is it and what type of services? If you want to share that with us as well. Okay, I'd love to. I'm so excited about it um, and super passionate. It hasn't actually launched yet, but it's called Unlock Your Queen. And we are going to be a community that is a podcast. There'll be like free resources, um, education, and also coaching on how to actually unlock that queen, unlock that power within us by building a positive relationship with ourselves. And we focus on four pillars. So it's mind, body, soul, and finance. And having all of those pillars in check and having healthy habits and a mindset around that to really start, then start living the life that you know you want to live and that you're capable of. So that should be launching in about a month. Yeah, no. You know, but... I, I day, it was meant to be launched last month, but, you know, things happen and you're like, oh, I forgot this. And, you know, you want I want to be able to give the most value to everybody. So it's it's taking a little bit of longer than expected. No, everything in divine timing, right? Everything in divine timing and, um, you know, wishing you all the best with it. Um, I think your journey that you've gone through ultimately has made you the perfect person to kind of do it now and handle it now. So um, yeah, enjoy the process. I I, I don't know what entrepreneurship looks like, but from the outside looking in, uh, I've noticed people who enjoy the process the most, most likely they're the ones that succeed in the end. So uh, no, thank you for sharing that. And obviously this um, Unlock Your Queen is, Sounds pretty specific, but is it a is it an all inclusive thing? I, I know um, um, it's different how communities establish themselves. Um, some guys prefer working with females as well because of there's a certain degree of empathy. So is it something that you're open to? Is it is it a cross spectrum thing? And just asking, not for you know, just <laughs> to 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 wonder if someone yeah. wants to join and and they're like, can I join the club or you know? What I mean? So it's it's going to be predominantly for women, but yeah, we are, the the education and the resources that we have available will be um, relevant to anybody wanting to to kind of change their life or improve their life. So yeah, kings are welcome as well. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, and so last one is, uh, where can people contact you? Um, are you going to be planning on working with clients outside of Australia as well? um and yeah what type of programs would you want to be hosting would it be digital workshops would it also be in person i know obviously you're going to probably have in-person stuff that you'll be doing in australia but if you do work with people outside will they be maybe zoom calls that you run in case people are interested absolutely and that's um something that we're working on and that's taking a little bit longer as well just working out the best way that we can give value and be able to to accommodate clients from overseas. So there definitely will be an avenue 
you for that. And there will also be workshops that we will possibly be hosting like overseas and where we can all get together and, and have a bit of fun as well. No, oh, all right. And that's pretty much what I had here. But um, no, it was it was it was really, really nice. Uh, Natasha, thank you so much um, for sharing about yourself so openly and so authentically as well. It's it's truly appreciated. And um, again, wishing you the best with your new business venture. Uh, it's exciting. I'm sure you get to meet a lot of interesting people along the way. And I think uh, that's probably, you know, probably going to be, I know obviously there's many other components to it, but there's, there's definitely something special to connect with those that you're going to reach out to help. So um, we appreciate you just coming on and, and, and actually sharing a bit about yourself. So thank you so much, Natasha. Thank you for having me. Thank you. No worries.